Hello children. I hope you all are enjoying at home. And I'm sure you all must be missing school too. Today I'm back with one more topic and we are going to study about the parts of computer. Children, you all know that our body is made up of different parts. And what are the parts of our body? We have head, shoulder, knees, toes. All these are the parts of our body. Just like our body is made up of different parts, we have different parts for the computer. Computer is also made up of different parts. Today we are going to learn the parts of computer. What is this? Yes, we make use of this to type numbers and letters. And this is called as a keyboard. There are different keys on the keyboard. Using keyboard, we can enter letters and numbers on our computer. Initially, we had a typewriter. Letters that we would want to type, we would use a typewriter. And today, we make use of a computer to type letters and numbers through a keyboard. The next part of computer is a monitor. Whatever that we type on the keyboard is seen here. It shows us letters, numbers, it even shows us pictures, cartoons and so many things. It has a screen. This looks like a TV but it's not a TV. It's a monitor. We call it a monitor. What is this? Is it a real mouse? No. This mouse is different from a real mouse. This device of a computer is used for pointing and selecting things on the computer, on the monitor. Mouse is also used for drawing. Just like we draw with the help of pencil and color with the help of crayons. The same way in computer we make use of mouse to draw and color. So a mouse is also one part of the computer. CPU CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. CPU is a brain of the computer. Everything that a computer is doing is done inside this. Just like we have brain which controls all parts of our body. Our brain makes decisions for us. The same way CPU is also responsible for making decisions in computer system. It controls all parts of the computer just like a human brain. Printer Whatever that you type using a keyboard, if you want it on a paper, we make use of printer. Printer helps us to print or to get images, letters and numbers on the paper. We can have or we can get black and white as well as colored printouts. Scanner Now that you have your photographs, whatever that is written on the paper, magazine, posters, all this if you want them on your computer, you need to scan them. And to scan it, you need a scanner. So what a scanner does? It takes everything from the paper to your computer. So whatever is there in your book, if you want it on the computer, you make use of a scanner to scan your book. 
microphone and a speaker microphone captures our voice we can insert our voice in the computer using a microphone and a speaker helps us to listen to our voice to listen to songs music and many other audios headphones are small speakers that are placed over your ears even headphones help us to listen to music songs but children using headphone only a person who is using it is able to hear the voice whereas using a speaker when you play a music on the speaker everybody around can hear it so you know the difference between a speaker and a headphone so a computer is made up of different parts so all these parts together make a computer system monitor keyboard mouse cpu ups are the main parts of computer printer and scanner are the additional parts of computer so i hope children you all have enjoyed this topic thank you